Part 33 Come on, join us. Please like and subscribe, then relax and enjoy. Early April 1933 saw them holed up in Joplin, Missouri. T'was there they celebrated New Beer's Day. And incredulously, Bonnie read aloud from the newspaper of FDR's tyrannical gold confiscation, announced that same day, Have a beer and hand over your gold, Uncle Sam did say. Well, they jeeringly toasted Uncle Sam with beer and belly laughs, that forceful grab for the people's gold under the cloak of law was the most spectacular gold heist of all time, carried out in true standover gangster fashion at Uncle Sam's way below market, gold shark rate of exchange. Like a true mobster boss, FDR his executive order did make, commanding that on or before May 1st of 33, all gold coin, gold bullion, and gold certificates before a member bank of his Federal Reserve System be laid. With criminal penalties for not turning over the loot, 10,000 bucks and or 10 years in the pen for the sap, the outlaw barrow mob sure felt themselves tame compared to this self-legalizing Uncle Sam gang, Federal Reserve notes, redeemable in gold, now just I.O.U. crap. Maundy Thursday, the laws jumped them at Joplin, Clyde, Bonnie and W.D., Buck and Blanche, after reports from locals suspicious of their kind, shooting they got away, leaving all behind, a trove of treasure, including undeveloped film, did the laws find. Newspapers printed the gang's photographs of pretty Bonnie and handsome Clyde, posing with their guns and their ride, together with a poem freshly written they there found, the story of suicide cell, thus to the world got round. The press had a field day with Bonnie, their reader's imagination running wild, imagining Bonnie having threesomes with her gangster pals in the car, drinking strong corn whiskey, smoking a strong cigar. Living in sin, how could she possibly be mild? That tough, cigar-smoking suicide cell Bonnie and that Texas rattlesnake gangster Clyde with scandalizing write-ups, them they did troll, spotting a newspaper in a mailbox, they'd get it on the roll. Seeing themselves in headlines, both frightened them and gave them a kick. Never had they imagined there'd be such a hot item, but for newspapers chasing sales, a pretty young outlaw girl, was such an irresistible trick. End of part 33 Come on, hit that like button and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. The next part is coming soon.